Today, we're going to be creating an isometric beach, all in ARCHICAD. We're going to take it step by step. It's actually pretty easy, but if you want to skip the legwork, I'll leave a link to the model below. Let's get started. We'll start in floor plan view. First thing we'll want to do, create a site mesh. Our dimensions are about 20 meters by almost 70 meters. So let's do that. 70,000 by 20,000. I've got these contours here at about a spacing of 4.5 meters. So let's recreate those here now. I'm going to use the spline tool. I'm just going to draw down and across about that. From here, I'm going to grab and in the pet palette, I'll go to multiply. Within the multiply dialog, we'll want to go spread. We'll have that spacing at 4.5 meters. We'll go okay. And then we'll spread that down the site. Let's just give this a height of 200 mil all around, just to give an example. So we've currently got our site mesh and we want those heights now to roughly match up with what we've got there, a bit of a slope. To do this, the contours that we just created, we just select the site mesh, use the eyedropper tool, select the site mesh again. Then from there, holding in spacebar, we're going to hover over the contours and click. This dialog box will pop up, we'll go okay. And this has now created a contour. We'll go through, do this for the rest of the contours. For the sake of simplicity, I've just added all the numbers that you'll need for the heights of the contours, starting at the highest being 4,000 and the lowest being 400, which will give us our slope from top to bottom. So to type that in, let's start with the back. We'll go 4,000. We'll turn off apply for all on these corner nodes. Otherwise it'll turn all the edge nodes to that height. So we'll just go, okay. Same for this one up here, 4,000, go okay. Now let's start working our way down. Let's have a look just to see how that looks there already. Yep, cool. So we've got that high point and we're just gonna build those contours down. 3,800, this time we have apply all turned on. Let's go okay, 3,800, okay, 3,600, okay. Let's check in again with the 3D. Yep, so you can see how it's starting to slope down on that block. I'm gonna finish up those other ones and come back. Let's go into our 3D. From here, the next thing we'll want is the actual beach. To do this, we'll just duplicate the mesh down say 25,000. I've put this measurement in just so that we know what measurement we can type to get it back to the exact location we had it before. I'll go to the spline tool and I wanna recreate this curve that I've got here. So I'll curve along, clicking as I go. There we are. Now I want this section here cut out. I'll select the polyline tool this time, click around and reconnect back up with the spline, select the side mesh, eyedropper tool, select the side mesh again, holding in spacebar for the magic wand. I'll click now and instead of creating new points, I want to create hole and we're going to go okay. And that's going to sculpt and cut from where we've placed our polylines and our spline. We'll delete this. We'll grab our duplicate we created just before. We'll bring this back up, say 25,000, the measurement we had before. Excellent. I'm going to send this to the back just so we can see that line. I'm going to change the, an alternate color. There we are. Cool, we've got our grass and we've got our beach. We need to change the material on the top so it looks more like a beach. I'm just going to go into materials. I've got one here called beach sand. Looks a bit janky there at the moment. All we need to do, right click, connect, solid element operations. This will pop up. We'll put the beach as the target and we'll put the land as the operator. Then we'll go subtraction with upward extrusion. We'll go execute, excellent. So now we've got our land and we've got a beach. If you don't have a beach with this particular color, like or a material like this, I'll just show you the color that I've used so you can just match. And you'll just want to match these numbers here, red, green, blue. Match those numbers, you'll get this exact color. We've got our land and our beach. Next, let's do our water. Again, I'll select the site mesh tool. I want to click just about here. So for the interim, I'll just leave it there. Let's send it to the back. I'll click on the corner. Set our height, 1200. I'll go apply all, we'll go okay. Let's check out our 3D. We'll select our water. I'll want to change the material. I've set up a water beach material. I'll click here, I'll set it to all. To get this color, just copy these numbers here. And we're getting closer. We'll want to trim this water to the other meshes. So we'll select it as the target. We'll select the beach and the land as the operator. Subtraction with downward extrusion. So we're cutting the water. We'll go execute. Now on the side here of the sand, we've got it shown as gray. I'll want that as beach. So I'll just link these two. Excellent, that's got that fixed up. Next thing, let's add in some trees. The object that I've used for this is just a very simple tree. Conceptual model, I've got it at eight for the resolution. We'll go okay. And for the grass that I'm using, this is the color here. Also turn it to blue. Let's do our trees. So I'll just go to object, 
conceptual tree and I'll just start plotting these down across the land and there let's go into our 3d cool we'll just want to adjust our heights accordingly Bring that one down a little bit now I'll just select the trees I'll change the material to the other green that I had we've got the trees for the track I've got this at 3200 I'll select the site mesh tool this in roughly about here go four meters wide for the road I'll bring it forwards just turn it to a bit of a gray so we can delineate what it is and I'll go setting the height at 3200 we'll go okay we applied it to all let's go in all right there it is this one I'm going to change to a concrete go to the materials concrete 2 we'll select the road set it as the operator the ground as the target and we'll go subtraction with upward extrusion we'll go execute there we go and we've got our road looks like it's a little bit higher than the ground so I'll just bring that point down set another point for the road in the middle here I'll bring that down a bit too there we go nice I'm going to duplicate the road bring it over say 1500 I'll set it backward to use the split tool just up the top here I'll split this side part off of it so now I'll go back into 3d I'll select the path that we just had set it as the operator ground is the target subtraction with upward extrusion execute there we go I'd like the path to be a lighter color so I'll just set this to a light gray from here this just leaves the path going down so I'll select the mesh and I want this one to be about a meter wide and just down to the beach which we've done visually so we'll just go enter drag this one up a little bit I'll select all these nodes I'll set them to say 4000 which is just going to be way higher than our site mesh which is perfect because we're going to do an intersection if we go into 3d this will make sense I'll select the mesh I'll set it as the target the site mesh as the operator let's go intersection execute with the path still selected I'll set it as the operator I'll select the ground set it as the target and I'll go subtraction and execute there we go and we've got a pathway I want this to be like an earth so I'll go back in I'll just set it to this earth brown next thing is our cabins and then our little towels and we're pretty much done we'll start off with a slab length and width on one of these We'll set it at 4,000 by 2,500. 4,000 by 2,500. We'll go okay. And the height, set that 1,800. Okay. All right, there we go. So we've got our base. We can do this once, then we'll duplicate them down and across, saving us a bunch of work. Next, we'll just pick up a wall, holding in spacebar, just near the edge, and we'll click, and that has drawn all of our walls. It's not at the right height there at the moment. It was set to a previous project. So I'll just want to enter in these just here. Or since I've already got this open, I can just hold in Alt, click, and then Control Alt, and then I'll just inject those parameters into my walls. Next up, I'll want to do the roof. It's a little bit messy here at the moment. Let's just bring that to the front. Let's select our roof. I'll want the geometry method to be multiplane and I'll just be clicking from one side to the other. So just this one here. We'll select that bottom left up to the top right. There we go. Now, this is going to be a hip roof with quite the eave around it. I only want the eave to be about 150. So I'll just go to this offset, type in 150. I'll bring this horizontal edge just to here. So we get that gable and likewise this one just to here. Now let's go into 3D. At the moment, we can't see it. And it's because the heights haven't been set up. Because this is a very simple project, I haven't bothered with it. And there's kind of simple ways around this when we're just doing mass modeling. I'll go back in and I'll type in say 5,000, just because we know our top contour is 4,000. I'll go back into 3D. I'll just select this and then I'll select the blue part, which is the pitching point, And I'll bring it down on top of that wall. There we go. I'll just select those walls, this front one and the back one, and I'll bring those up to the top. I'll select these walls as the target and the walls as the operator and go subtraction with upward extrusion. We'll go execute. There we go. For these doors, I've just got the ARCHICAD 25 library. If you go into hinge doors, scroll your way on down, just select this one here. I've got the door leaf just as a regular plane like this. So just copy this. We'll go OK. Just bring it down into the center. If I hover the mouse over, it'll lock into that center point. I'll click here, click out towards the water, and we've got our doors. Let's go and check them out. Nice. Next thing, we want our little deck. <laughs> Let's just select the slab that we've already got by holding in shift and hovering over the slab. We'll click it, then hold in the eyedropper tool. That selects a slab. We'll deselect just by pressing escape once. Then from top to bottom, and I'll just 
hit tab, we'll go 1000 and I'll hit, okay. I'll bring it back up to the top here. Nice one. Cool. We've got our little hut. From here, I'll want to group all the different elements together. I'll control D to drag. And then I'm just gonna offset it, say about 2,800. Maybe a bit more, let's go another 200. So 3,000. So I'll offset this 3,000 again. Let's take a look. And we've got a bit more spacing here. So I might bring them all down because I've got them grouped. It's gonna make this much easier. Bring them all down. I'll want two more. Let's select and bring down a duplicate and we'll do that again. There we go. I think I might shift the path across a little bit. The cool thing, because we did this through intersection, we can literally just click and shift it across and it automatically changes accordingly. I'll just show you here in the 3D. Yeah, check that, it's pretty cool, hey? All right, undo. Next up, we want our towels. I'm going to send this water to the back just for the moment. I'll select one of our slabs from the huts and I'm just gonna click and drag. What dimensions do I have for the towels? 900 by say 1600. So I'll select the slab, 1600, 900, let's go enter. Then from here, I'll just want to set this to say a powder coating, like a white, and then, yep, have all those surfaces linked. I'll go back into 3D, cool. I'll bring this down just so that goes down through the mesh and is up through the beach portion a little bit too. We'll set is the target, we'll select beach, we'll go operator, intersection, go execute, there we go. So it's not only meshes that we can do this with, but it's also slabs. Let's do that, but four more times. One, two, three, four, target, select the mesh, the beach as the operator, intersection, and execute. I'll just select this other one down here, a little step I forgot. We'll just select them as the operator now. We'll select the beach. We'll select it as the target and we'll go subtraction and execute. There we go. Last but not least, let's change the colors to brighten things up just a little bit. I'm just gonna go through and match up what I've got here on the left. So I'll go to purple, pale blue, lead oxide yellow, the orange. But again, if you'd like to skip the legwork and just want the model, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if you wanna check out more Archicad tutorials, check out this video over here.